Hi there friends, welcome to another Shozy Z video. Glad you're back. Okay, so this is just a chat video. Um, let's talk about the new AG doll releases. Um, the, the, you know, all the dolls that they're getting ready to release or they have released actually, like these two. I mean, they're very pretty. There are some in Costco, of course. There's like four different dolls in Costco, if you're not aware of that already, which have a different price point. And then there's um, there's these guys. Um, so, and these are much more expensive. The one that's in Costco, come with an additional outfit they're probably about their price point i think is about like 135 dollars something like that and um and right now they're having a deal for um 98 dollar dolls and then they have the world by us dolls and then they have the glamour these are called the glamour dazzlers with uh swarovski um crystals so what do you think about these take a look at them there's there's only two of these. There's not the four from the Costco. I don't have a picture of those. But what do you think about these two? One has a Sonali face mold, face sculpt, and the other one has the um, has just a classic face sculpt. Here they are again. Um, I know the same pose, but now the doll on the left, the Sonali face sculpt has um from what i understand she just has you know her curly hair and um she's she's very pretty they do have sparkle around their eyes they do come with an accessory it looks like a um an ornament ball that is a purse they come with gloves um necklaces the beautiful dress the the shoes i mean the, you know everything it's 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 extremely beautiful the one on the on the right the blonde one has um pink um in her hair as well so she has a variated uh very uh, variegated if you want to call it uh, or multi-tonal type of look not not really multi-tonal because it's only two-tone um hairstyle uh so it's blonde and pink and it'd be really hard to choose for me. And they're $250 each, so I'm not gonna choose at all, <laughs> basically, because I'm not gonna spend that much on a doll. I mean, they're they're really pretty dolls, but it's like, I'm not, I mean, I don't get dust in my house, I get dirt because I live in a desert. So, I mean, I can't even keep these out of the box. They would have to stay in the box because even the boxes get a layer on top of them. So it's it's like it's a no-brainer. I'm not going to put the, leave these out. Um it's it's ridiculous. The tops the doll's hair even gets a layer of stuff on them. So I'm always constantly like dusting them off and stuff like that. It's ridiculous in my in my house. And so even if they're in a closed room, it's, it's, you know, so anyway, what do you think? What, which one would you choose? And would you choose either of them? Or would you go for the Costco ones? They had four different, um, four different like sculpts basically, and four different hair colors and four different races, which was really kind of cool. So you could choose, they weren't as ornate, the dresses and, and they didn't come with as much. They did come with a separate like warm up outfit. They were in ballet, um, clothing. They were really pretty, but they weren't um, Swarovski crystal, crystals, and they um, they were like toned down a little bit. So they didn't have the gloves, they didn't have the ornament, they didn't have the, you know, all the, the f extras, basically, especially for the price point. And then we move on to the World by Us. And this is, this is called, um, this is this is also as seen as the world by us or something like that. It's um, so it's it's kind of like a collaboration between American Girl and different designers, different like um, I don't know if it's even just stops at American designers. It might be um, worldwide designers, which would be kind of cool. Continental designers. So the first one. We'll go from left to right is McKenna. It's it looks like McKenna, but as we know, American Girl likes to reuse um, colors. They like to reuse 
face sculpts. They like to reuse um, names over and over again, like Isabel and McKenna and things like that. But this is actually McKenna, McKenna Williams. And then in the middle, um, and she's a brand new face sculpt, which is really cool. And her hair is twisted. Very, very cool too. I love the hair. I love the face sculpt. I think she looks very cute, but she looks like a doll doll, you know? So I'm excited to see how people customize her. And, um, and it looks like her jacket has um, actual um, like stitching on it. The butterflies are stitched. They could be stamped, but I think they're stitched. And then in the middle has another Joss sculpt, which is really cool to see her again recreated in um, a darker hair, darker eyes. I know people have tried to do that in the past when they customized Joss, but it's really cool to see her again. And this is Maritza uh, Ochoa. And so they've reimagined her with a two-tone hair and then, um, and she's a friend of McKenna. And then the third doll, which everybody's going gaga over, and she's just another, sorry, but Josefina slash Julie face sculpt with freckles and gray eyes and curly hair. Of course, the hair color is much different and it's a little bit shorter, which is nice. It's not this long drawn out to the feet <laughs> uh, hair. I like shorter hair on dolls because I think it's cute, but um, of course you could have a lot more po hairstyling possibilities with longer hair. And this is Yvette um, Peters with uh, two E's, so that could be Dutch. I, I can't remember what her storyline, uh, what her background is, but anyway. And she, again, is a friend of um, McKenna. Um, so... This is uh, this is a whole storyline with three friends, which is really kind of cool. But I don't know how long these dolls are going to last. Probably a while, I would think. Um, I'm hoping so that people can really get their fill of, of them. But the one that's been the most popular by far that I've seen on social media is Yvette. Okay, so which one do you like and why do you like them? And these are, again, these are international types of um, focus dolls. They're not just, um, they have different backgrounds, different cultures, different, um, uh, you know, they come from different races, that sort of thing. They're not just your typical, of course, you know, they're American you know born and bred that sort of thing but they're but they have they come from their own cultures which is kind of which is very cool but um because we're all a smorgasbord here in america so they don't just they're not just your typical uh one type of of you know culture like you know none of us are <laughs> none of us <laughs> I have to choose other when I when I choose a survey when I fill out a form at the doctor's office because I am not I'm mixed race I'm not one race I'm not I'm not typically Caucasian I have to choose other so I don't know what you guys choose but anyway so which one do you like best and which one would you purchase them all would you purchase just one would you purchase none would you recreate them what's your choice here okay and what do you think of the of the four that are in Costco? Would you, if you had a Costco membership or you had someone who had one, would you purchase one of those? And which one would you would you choose? And I wish I had the photo of those guys, but one was um, was Asian like Ivy Ling. Basically, I'm gonna just throw her up there. Um, one was uh, was African American. Um, I think one had darker brown hair and one had blonde hair. So. You've got the four to choose from. Which one would you choose? Okay, thanks so much for watching and for commenting and subscribing and all that kind of good thing and hitting the notification bell and liking and, you know, that all that. Thank you for, for keeping up with the news with me and for telling me who your favorite dolls are because American Girl does not hold the hold the trademark on all the dolls they just happen to put a bunch of dolls all out at one time and uh, 
Well, and, and then there's a new girl of the year who happens to be twins, in case you didn't know that. They are twins. They're Corinne and, oh, I had that written down, but there's their twins, and it'll be interesting to find out um, who they are, you know, if they're going to come out with twins at one time or not. Um, if they're going to just come out with one doll or two, um, you know, what, what they're going to, what they're going to do exactly, because that's going to be, that's going to be next, you know, coming up. So we're, we'll see. All right, you guys take care. Bye-bye. Oh, before I sign off too, there was a, uh, these are one of a kind dolls and I know the picture is not very clear. Um, but this was a designer who reimagined all of the historical, the historical line of dolls from, um, Addie to Kirsten to Josefina, you know, Samantha, Molly, um, Felicity, all of them into modern, what they would look like if they were modern day dolls. And they were, they were given, um, kind of not really new looks, but just regular dolls, you know, the regular be forever line of dolls given a new clothing, um, pieces, uh, and then a new hairstyles basically. And then they were put up on eBay and you would not believe when I checked a few days ago when I had time, um, their prices were like anywhere from 750 to a thousand dollars a piece. I was really floored by that. I thought, Oh, wow. <laughs> because they're just regular dolls in modern modern outfits but because of her power as a designer that of course influenced the the collectability of these particular dolls so I thought that was interesting as well um I don't know how you feel about that either so tell me in the comments what you think if you'd seen that if you knew about it it was on American Girls um website of course I don't know if it's been taken down or not but that is an interesting concept to have a designer come in you know create a line of dolls that um, were are modernized and you know sell for a lot of money it was supposed to benefit um, charity and uh, it's different different charities what have you and I thought, wow, that's uh, that's pretty pretty interesting, how that can impact um, not only society but a different you know in different ways in different ways you know. So, what are your thoughts on that? Okay, take care. Bye bye. Okay, here's a little closer look at that, real fast. Um, you can kind of zoom in maybe or see these these dolls. Um, I took a better picture of them, even though it's still a little bit blurry to me, but it might be, you know, better looking to you. The only one who really changed a hundred, hundred fold was, I thought, um, Kirsten and um, Addie. They were huge changers in my, my opinion. That's what I felt. Of course, they all changed because they're all modern, but their looks really, really, really changed. Um, so, okay. Take care. Bye-bye. I swear this is it. <laughs> Thank you for liking, subscribing, because <clears throat> you know you want to, for hitting the notification bell, bell so you know when new um, videos are up. When you like and subscribe, it really helps my channel a lot, and uh, I appreciate that. You guys are the best. Thank you for all of my subscribers. You guys are fab. Take care. Have a nice day.